Hello and welcome to another PSD tour and it's a quite long one for the other PSD tour that I made in the previous what month. So for me, it's another PSD tour and I'm highlighting this fantastic line art by the artist name called Rocco Pisani. I hope I'm pronouncing that right because he did provide us, you know, uh, a very fantastic line art and you can, you know, subscribe to his uh, Patreon and stuff. All this stuff right here. Uh, this is an advertisement for his work and uh, I want to show you my version of the lineup that he provided to, to me as well. So this is my final work. Well, not actually, I'm sorry. This is not my final work because uh, what the hell is that? What the hell is that over here? <laughs> I, need to, I need to make a brand new layer just, just, to, just to show that uh, you can have, I can highlight my mistakes here and there. Also, this is the somewhat finished work that I did with his uh, lineup. Uh, this is the final I download off. No, it's actually quite good. I took a different route of it. If you look at all the side by side, it's actually, damn it, it's actually quite different. From, from the bottom section right over here, right over here, and also from the top. So I don't want, you know, everything must be all black. So I have to, I need to have, you know, vari variation. First off, I'm gonna go to the line art. I'm gonna disable some of the stuff here. Right down to the basic first. This also includes my background. So, uh, I started off, you know, without any uh, gradiency. And I started, you know, doing my basic flats you know, this one right he over here. And then I start to chip away using, using this, uh, start using flat, flatting, uh, flatting style that I have to unlock this and also use the, uh, the lock transparent pixel so that if you make a mistake on flatting all your stuff, it's far more easier. It, it's actually locked in. So it doesn't, you know, overshoot your, your flat, uh, your flat colors doing this as well. These are not final. Afterwards, and uh, I did this. This is the uh, fully rendered stuff. However, there's no special effects that I didn't use so that uh, it's far more easier. And also, uh, the rendering of this piece was so radically different. I have to, you know, for for weeks and also a month that I forgot it to the last uh, last last PSD tour that I ever made is that I, I felt like you know uh, my skills were not you know up to snuff and par so I started practicing practicing and uh, this is another combination that I put into notes as well is that try to rendering that every and also it's for me this is gonna be a warning that whatever you do in right here not everything must be in in color dodge mode and you can't abuse screen or color dodge anymore because there are times when you try to render, it looks so off. Especially when you try to render black as well. So for me, like, uh, I had to do uh, to render carefully, carefully to get the skin color. There's a reason why in this area right over here, I you know grab you know some of my basic uh, skin tones and stuff, and also the highlighted color. So this is what I get. I rendered here the face first anything else uh, using uh, right here using the wand tool and start to you know getting all of it and also uh, deselecting some of the stuff right here and start rendering it using the lasso tool also you, when you try to render stuff the lasso tool is a fantastic tool to make uh, shades and stuff. So when you start rendering, I tend to uh, uh, select stuff like holding the Alt to create the uh, effect that go. Oh, this is right here. This needs to be shadowed. This needs to be shadowed. This needs to be shadowed. And certain aspects like to be shadowed to get the effect from here. The, uh, and I, you know, use the first 
first and second stroke uh, brush stroke path to get the skin color and start, you know, sample that uh, skin color highlight tone to make it work. And also, the fun thing about, you know, the lasso tool that you can control the feather because when rendering to me with uh, like structures like faces and body parts, there are hard edges that there are edges that you need to learn like lost uh, hard edge uh, certain parts like this this is a lot uh, hard edge lost edge and soft edge this is an example of a soft edge right over here that I it's, it's already you know blurred using you know the smudge tool or the blur tool to get to this effect and also and there's the lost edge is this right over here if you see this corner right here there's a blur I use feather uh, the lasso tool and feather either eight to get this effect and using the gradient color either is set to again to color dodge to get that much but you know easy on the color dodge because there are times that it doesn't really work that much as well and you have to get the the specific result and sample that color put it in your you know watches so that it, you can remind yourself that you can you can't, you know, over render it and also overuse it because it will basically blow up your image. So this is where I got the whole thing. Yeah. Masking some of the stuff, uh, getting all of the shapes correctly of the faces and start, you know, doing doing the rendering from right here. Oh, it's, this is another example of Lost Edge. You can see there's a little bit of line and, you know, and I just use the smudge tool just to smear some of the parts. It doesn't feel like it doesn't appear that much uh, line art, uh, line uh, line cuts over there. I, I don't know how to describe it, but that's how I uh, describe that much, describe it. But this is how I got the result. And overall, got it right there. Also, uh, and also using. Again, back to the message of not everything must be used in screen and color dodge is this. Using black. Sometimes it doesn't create the exact image that you wanted because if you use black then you uh, use either overlay or color dodge. It will blow up the image into the bluer side and it, it, it doesn't work very well. However, I managed to learn to control that. In this area right here and you can see the the there's a little bit of dither here and I use that just as much at least one like like you're using using that as a dither and not much of just using the gradient tool and just blow up at least one to uh, you have to flick it uh, at least one to three just to make sure but also afterwards you use that sample and just use a screen to give it another pass so that way you can have this type of effect however <laughs> it doesn't feel like it's so smooth it feels like you know it's a it's a right it's weirdly dithered but that's the desired effect that I wanted hopefully I could improve it on and so basically it's a happy little accident moment and this one is another fantastic way to use it is that uh, this is basically using the uh, feathered lasso tool under 8px to get this effect using uh, gray using a great uh, gray swatch I think I just sampled this and put it right there just using it as a pass to make it work and her crotch area as well that's the reasons why I got this effect right here Although I kind of need to learn how to get, you know, the highlights on. This one is very, very, very interesting in the abdomen area. So I have to, you know, make the feature right over here to make it work. And, hmm. Although, again, same technique, but <laughs> had a very different result. It requires a lot of, you know, a little bit of dither ago. Oh, it doesn't feel like smooth. And that, and that for me is my own fault as a, you know, an artist. Uh, and also a comic book colorist, mind you, that I have to, you know, find ways to make the transition of 
from this light color to this type black gold smoother and not, you know, uh, looks ugly. But at a, but we're zooming it in very close. However, when you go it in far, it doesn't feel like it. So this is my little version over here. We get to this part later. <laughs> and uh, uh, the the abdomen area again, making sure that it yeah you know, it le legitimately forms again the shape right here the shape right here the the abs and stuff and the cuts and I also followed this as well and this is very low image imagery to get to this but I have my own different take of it right here however I think uh, Rocco's version is just fantastic on this area right here and it's I'm actually quite jealous okay now we're gonna move on to the in here other than the tits side so I can go I just say that uh, his rendering here I don't know what's the, uh, the exact uh, HD picture of this image but I wish I could give you know, I wish I could render it more clearly but again this is what I got and also I think I over rendered uh, a bit much because I kind of made oh, certain areas here it's there and damn it and uh, his version is actually quite smoother like there's a little bit of darkness over here and there's a little bit of render of the black fantastic it's very subtle too like I need to you know learn to master the renderings of, uh, of the black uh, color so that it doesn't feel like it's going after to the bluer side it has to be in a monochromatic way, but again, this is how he renders like immaculate, mind you. And this is mine. I just tried to highlight the 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 girthiness. I don't know how to put that into <laughs> into into words, but we're now in the you know on the tit side of things. So uh, that's how I render it. I wish I could you know render exactly, but that's how I approach it again uh, getting this and then using the lasso tool to carve out all of the stuff and you know set all of the leather uh, the, the cuts into into the softer side and then render it via gradient or brush and this is the result of it and I do need to improve on you know rendering some of the chest areas right here so that it does look good because uh, I tend and also in this area in this boob over here you can tell there's a smudge part and I wish I you know did not over render it but oh well it is what it is and you know you, you learn to let it go afterwards and not to be a super perfectionist and I kind of use the uh, smudge tool just to I think I need to adjust my smudge strength because it goes varying rather than smoothly however it's my fault again and also my render is that I tend to use the color dodge again my fault as an artist I using uh, misusing the uh, linear dodge and the, uh, the brush mode of linear dodge and color dodge to get to the effect that Sometimes wanted, but sometimes unwanted. You have there a lot of imperfections here. And whoopsie doodle. And this is where I got. And also, learning how to, I, I have to uh, stare at <laughs> stare at titties just to get the the uh, the effect here. If I want to stare at tits, this is, was the original image that I had to stare at. Here we go. Hmm. How do I get this? this from from this to this and just following the steps again uh, using color dodge of the same by the way this is the same color that I use the color dodge for and to render out to render all the you know the chest there's a also you can see there's a little bit of uh, softer edge right here and also this edge so that you know the chest area and also if you it, it takes a even though it's a low uh, quality you can actually see the, the the shadow of the collarbone and I have to mimic that 
and into this. So this is where I got. Right here. And also, you can see the, imper the uh, imperfect uh, lasso tool that I have to use. I know I have to, you know, correct this a little bit. But it's, you know, minute, but it's almost there. And I uh, make it, try to make it work on the image. And finally, the hair. It does have a highlight of using, you know, a cell or soft shade style. But, you know, I just use, you know, CGI, uh, CGI style instead. The eyes is actually quite interesting that it's, uh, it uses all black and then the highlighted eye. I actually mimicked it and this is what I got the results for. And another render that I have to do is, is using the highlights here. Is, now you can, I can put the highlights in and also the highlight layers is on top of it. Skin makeup is different because I tried to do skin and makeup and this is the result. If you look at here. And if you look at here, my other side is that there's a skin makeup uh, layer and also a mask so that I don't, you know, affect the hair and try to, you know, minimize the, the over rendering of hair. So this is what I got. She looks quite normal. And thank God I, you know, and also, there's no uh, uh, linear mode, uh, no layer mode, just plain old normal, just easy on the you know, rendering on the on the on the cheeks. So, I got it right there. You go. I go. I, I liked it. Now we're doing another aspect. Now I start, you know, doing. Um, uh, I start doing the. Uh, the backgrounds and stuff you know i use blue I, for me it felt like a winter imagery a pinup so i started you know putting you know blues to whites here so that feels flowing but also put some uh half a tones i have to show you on how to make you know the technique of how to use the uh the blender mode of that but anyway to proceed more to proceed the, the uh, final result is that I have, you know, uh, line holes under the line art, which was which was uh, <clears throat> separated. I have to create a uh, line art here and then create another. Below the line art is all my coloring stuff, and the above is a clip. I clipped uh, this right here to the line art so that it. It has yield the results of color. You look at here, I just colored a lot of it just to match the skin tone here, just to match the hair. And uh, this is the actual result. And I think I, I think I missed the part that I have to do this, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be tiring. And also it's gonna be the most difficult because now I have to put line, line holds over here. Hopefully the final image that I could create is that I could do all of the line, uh, the line, uh, the color holds in this eye without damage, without you know overlapping this as well. So I'll do that later. And uh, yeah, uh, this is the result. It's almost done, and hopefully you can, uh, you know, you got it, uh, got my uh, my process on how I do rendering. Hopefully I can finish up top over here and also the line holds over here. And also just to make sure I did put a, a, an effect. This was actually a blurred out Im image like oh, not here. It's actually super blurred but I set it to 15 mode. It's a, just to have an effect so if you look at here I go if you turn on and off, it has, you know, an effect of, you know, uh, darkening some as some parts, but also highlighting some parts. So I like the effect of it and I plan to keep it. So hopefully uh, you enjoyed my, <laughs> my ramblings on this PSD tour of, uh, of Rocco's uh, 
that goes on line art. And hopefully I will send this to this video him soon. And also my result of said of said uh, PSD tour. And thank you for watching uh, in, in this PSD tour. And I hope you I can do more about about uh, on my process. So take care.